Honorable Prime Minister will be leading this uh, session of yoga at, uh, at, at the UN, at the United Nations, at the Secretariat on the 21st of June. Uh, I think it will really be a very, very big deal. International Yoga Day, uh, which came in, in, into force, I believe, in 2015, um, was uh, supported by 175 uh, countries very, very quickly. What an important uh, and, and uh, joyful um, uh, day that is when, when we look at the international calendar. Uh, India's role has been absolutely central. Uh, as uh, you mentioned, India has been the largest uh, supporter, provided the most uh, peacekeeping troops since, since the beginning. Um, over 275,000 uh, troops, I believe, and remains uh, one of the largest uh, today. Uh, India has um, been behind many of the milestones of, of UN peacekeeping as well. For example, India was the first to really introduce um, seriously the role of women in, in peacekeeping, and this is an important part of UN Security Council Resolution 1325, uh, and very much within India's uh, support to Nari Shakti, uh, women-led development uh, as well. Um, India has provided a number of, of um, other uh, types of support to UN peacekeeping. For example, during the COVID pandemic, uh, uh, India provided hundreds of thousands of, of vaccines to uh, peacekeeping troops uh, across the world. Um, India is supporting uh, the ability of peacekeeping uh, troops to remain um, ahead of, of the curve in terms of changes in, in the natures of threats and technologies through the uh, peacekeeping center, the um, uh, Center for UN Peacekeeping, CUNPK, uh, as well. Um, India is also increasingly bringing uh, to bear the Atmanir Bharat uh, uh, to support UN peacekeeping. I had the honor to um, to uh, receive on behalf of, of the UN peacekeeping uh, a couple of months ago uh, over 150 heavy and armored vehicles um, from India for the South Sudan uh, mission, all made uh, in, in India as well, and, and all very, very high quality. So I think, you know, India's um, troops, uh, peacekeeping troops, are, are known uh, for being uh, dynamic, uh, for being neutral. Um, India brings a particularly unique um, geopolitical positioning in the world and, and communities uh, in conflict recognize that, that India brings a, a certain um, a special neutrality that, that many uh, countries don't have as well. And India is also bringing support in many other ways. The peacekeeping troops uh, that India uh, deploys are also helping communities uh, in, in despair in the areas they serve uh, with uh, building resilience to disaster risk, supporting, you know, providing veterinary services, helping them improve their livelihoods in the rural communities, providing um, solar power uh, for, for municipalities as well who are not connected to electricity grids, and many, many other uh, types and forms of support. So my last question, Prime Minister Modi, they say on 21st June will be leading the International Yoga Day. So this is after nine years since UN uh, unanimously selected 21st June, recognized it as International Yoga Day. What are your views on that? And your president would be also joining him, I believe. Well, uh, the Secretary General of, of, of the United Nations and, and uh, perhaps President, yes. Um, look, I, I would say that, uh, first of all, uh, International Yoga Day, uh, which came in, in, into force, I believe, in 2015, um, was uh, supported by 175 uh, countries very, very quickly. So I think everybody in the world sort of really, really got on board and understood um, uh, what an important uh, and, and uh, joyful um, uh, day that is when, when we look at the international calendar. Uh, yoga has, uh, and, and under the leadership of, of the Honorable Prime Minister uh, Modi, who's really been um, uh, pushing international rec recognition of, of yoga and, and, and supported the um, International Day, so the Honorable Prime Minister will be leading this uh, session of yoga at, uh, at, at the UN, at the United Nations, at the Secretariat on the 21st of June. Uh, I think it will really be a very, very big deal. But, you know, also the, the messages there are very important. It's about and upholding many of the UN values. But this is about uh, mindfulness. It's about supporting mental health, especially in these stressful times that we have today. Uh, it's about uh, mind and body and being healthy and exercising and of course the World Health Organization is always telling us to do that so we we very much support yoga for all of these different uh, ways and, and um, one of my um, uh, goals uh, since arriving here in India is, is to start uh, taking up yoga myself uh, I've done just a, a little bit so I need to do much much more that's a personal uh, challenge as well and um, but on overall for yoga day for the support to peacekeeping uh, you know, really on behalf of the United Nations, we want, want to say Bharatko, uh, Dilse, Dilse Danyavads.